and we are in beautiful Rock Hill, South Carolina. I'm over here at the Flying J. And if you're doing that thing where you look at my glasses and you find out whatever the reflection is, yes, I do have on rubber gloves because we're doing some involuntary maintenance today. I was on my way out of the parking lot here uh, in Rock Hill. And as I'm approaching the, uh, you know, the exit there, for some reason I had not no power, but as I was pushing on the gas, I saw that I wasn't able to move. Uh, the truck kind of like slowed down a lot. It got really, really heavy. It kind of felt like I was going uphill, uh, but I'm in, uh, I'm on a very small incline here. Um, after doing some walking back and forth around the truck, I figured out that um, the trailer brakes are fine. So what I did uh, in diagnosing what's wrong here is I set the trailer brake and I released the truck brake came back here and I was able to hear a lot of air flowing somewhere there's 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 air releasing and um, if you guys have ever dealt with this um, or know anything about the brake systems on trucks air brakes you guys are probably already figuring this out but uh, my driver's side here I believe I have a blown diaphragm uh, on my service brake so I have right down in here I've got a little bit of work to do I've got my vice grips I've got uh, my heavy duty gloves. Um, I have my, uh, I've got my ratchets. I've got everything here. What I need to do is release this brake uh, so then I can get the truck moving to a better spot because right now I'm just kind of sitting here uh, in like this entrance area and that's not good. So anyways, let me go ahead and get to work on this. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing and then, uh, then we'll go from there. That's it. We're gonna keep on filming and uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Guys, yeah, so first, as I was coming down the road, like I said, uh, my trailer, well, my truck started to have a lot of problem with horsepower and moving forward, and I kind of figured that it was the brake. Something had locked up on the brake, so what I did was I set the trailer brake, so I knew that the truck, because I'm on a slight incline here, I knew that the truck wouldn't roll back because my fifth wheel on this brake was going to stop me, plus I chalked the wheels, and I let this out. I let out um, my truck brake, so I pushed that in, let that out. And what I, what you will usually hear is a little bit of air for a quick few seconds and then it goes away because the air has uh, set uh, and pressure is stabilized. And this actually did not uh, stop. The air pressure uh, over time, I was able to see the air started going down, which told me that there was a leak somewhere in my, in my truck and I needed to go back and take a look at it. Now coming back this way on the truck, of course, this is after I had already set my trailer brake and I made sure that the trailer brake was fine. I started to check my brake chambers on the truck. So I started here at the rear. I checked my two rear, which is gonna be the driver's side and the passenger side. And then I realized that I had air flowing coming out up here. So there was some kind of airflow coming from right here in this area. That airflow, of course, turned out to be from the brake chamber which is going to be right here on the driver's side. And if you can, let's see, can we, can we zoom? There we go. That little hole there is where the air was coming out of that hole and then that hole right there. So I had some air being shot out, released from there, which in, you know, uh, I guess in perspective there kind of tells you that there's something wrong. Uh, but it basically, after watching a few videos and understanding the interior of these brake chambers a little bit more, I've kind of come to realize that I have a blown diaphragm here on my brakes. So what we're gonna do is we're going to clamp this off so we can get this brake released and then I can move the truck to a better place so I can service this and get either a new diaphragm or get a brand new brake chamber and install it. So let's go ahead, let's get to work. All right guys, so we are now under the truck and um, for a little bit of extra insurance, although we are on an incline, so the nose of the truck is going forward. So if anything were to happen, this thing would roll backwards. Um, I went ahead and I put down my landing gear on the trailer. So not only do I have the trailer brakes that are holding us to make sure that we don't go anywhere, uh, but I also have that landing gear for a little bit of extra insurance. So step one here on our brake chamber, which this is the passenger side, the driver's side is a little bit tough for me to turn my arm to. There we go. Uh, first off, what I've done is I've pulled our cap here. Uh, that is where our caging bolt is going to go. And the caging bolt will in turn release the spring. 
So our caging bolt is over here on the other side. It's uh, that's that little nut right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the caging bolt out. And uh, once I get that out, and you guys can actually see it better here, that's your caging bolt. So once I get that out, I'll put that in there and then I'll get that tweaked down. So give me a second, let me get that done. Guys, so for anyone who has never seen a caging bolt or has seen a bolt like this but has no idea what it's for, uh, sorry if the focus goes in and out on this. I've tried to film it a few times, but hopefully this is going to be our better one. But anyways, what this does is it goes inside the hole there and it will then slide into its spot. You'll lock it into place by turning it <coughs> and then you will pull back on it a little bit and you'll put the nut on and as you torque down the nut, it will then pull the brake out and release that brake. All right guys, so let's put this in here and let's uh, twist it and find the exact spot where it's supposed to go. Uh, is that it? Working a little blind here. All right guys, so we've got our bolt in now. Now let's go ahead and find our sweet spot. There we go. Is that it? Slid in there. All right, and now it's in place and it's locked. Now it is not gonna pull out. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our uh, washer and put our washer on. Then we're going to put our bolt on here and then we're going to uh, twerk this down a little bit. Let's go ahead and get that tightened on there. We've now got this down and you can hear the clicking of the brake releasing. Now one thing I've learned from the videos that I've seen online, as you're torquing this back, once you feel it stop, don't give it any more pressure because you will then break something inside. All right, so there we go. We've stopped there. It's not going anymore. Don't give it any more pressure. The bolt is now in. It's locked. The brake here has now been released. Now what we need to do is reach down and grab our vice grips. And first off, let me tell you about the tool. Um, this was a 19 millimeter or a three-quarter uh, and that's what fits here on this bolt here um, and that's what uh, that's what torqued us down now we're gonna grab our vice grips and we're gonna cap off our service line alright guys so if you look at your chamber you're going to see a designation here for service brake and for your emergency brake uh, this rear one here or actually the front one because this is toward the front of the vehicle uh, this one is going to be your emergency brake so what we're going to do right now is we're we're not going to cap this off but what we're going to do is we're going to cage this off by clamping our emergency brake airline all right guys let's get this fitted into place and let's clamp that off all right so now this hose is clamped off um, i did not use the needle nose uh, vice grips on this um, I want to go ahead and give this a shot and see if this one will work. If not, we'll switch out to the needle nose and then we'll go from there. But anyways, this should be capped off now. So I'm going to go up inside, start the truck, and then I should be able to now move this truck uh, to where I need it to go. The Lord works in mysterious ways. And today, guys, today he is working a lot more with me than he is against me. And some days, guys, I honestly do feel like he's working a little bit more against me pushing my last nerve we all know that happens from time to time but today i feel like the teamwork is really coming in there because i already had time scheduled out today to bring in my truck to get my filters done to get my fluids done to get my service everything all taken care of and it just so happened that earlier today my brake chamber went out and with the brake chamber coming out and me already having time scheduled to come in, I was able to just get all of this taken care of all at the same time. 
Understand this part here, guys. This could have happened tomorrow. It could have happened over the weekend, next week, in the rain, in the snow. Could have happened hundreds of miles away from a service center. I could have been really, really screwed and stuck with some really high bills if this wouldn't have happened today. And I'm not saying that I'm grateful that it happened because it's definitely unfortunate that it happened in the first place. But I'm very grateful that it happened on the same day I was scheduled to come in here to get this done. With that said, guys, did you learn something today? Let me know down in the comment section below if you've ever had something like this happen to you or what you would have done differently if you were in my shoes today. Other than that, it's time for me to head downstairs, go pay for this and get out of here. Thank you all for checking out this video. I definitely, definitely look forward to seeing what your comments are uh, and I will let you guys know what happens going forward. I will, as always, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey guys, did you like that video? If you did, go ahead, hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more great content just like this. As for you, I hope you drive safe out there on the roads. My name is Jason, and this has been My Hot Shot Life, and I will, as always, see you on the next one.